Welcome to Venulama, Bridgestone Arena, Nashville, Tennessee. Let's get into it. Nestled in the heart of Music City, Nashville, Tennessee, Bridgestone Arena is a premier venue for concerts and events. With a seating capacity of 20,000, it's a massive space that has been entertaining fans since 1996. Besides being the home of NHL's Nashville Predators, the arena has hosted countless concerts, making it a cornerstone of Nashville's entertainment scene. Bridgestone Arena is located at 501 Broadway, Nashville, Tennessee, 37203. If you're coming from the airport, you can take a taxi, Uber, or Lyft, which will cost around 15 to 25 bucks. For those driving, there are several parking options around the venue, including the Pinnacle Garage, Music City Center Garage, and the 6th Avenue Garage. Prices can vary, but expect to pay around $20 to $30 for event parking. For public transit, the MTA bus lines have stops near the arena. The Music City Star Train also has a stop at Riverfront Station, which is about a 10-minute walk from the venue. Check out the links to public transit and parking info in the description below. If you decide to bring in a bag, it must not exceed 12 by 12 by 6. Backpacks are not permitted under any circumstances. Water fountains are strategically located throughout the venue. You're permitted to bring in empty, clear plastic water bottles up to 32 ounces, which can then be filled at these fountains. When it comes to dining, Bridgestone Arena offers a variety of options to satisfy your craving. Inside the venue, you'll find dozens of bars and concession stands. For a more restaurant-like experience, head to Pete and Terry's Tavern, located just outside the Nissan Sobro entrance. The tavern offers a range of food options like sandwiches, pizza, barbecue wings, and hot chicken. Another upscale option is the Bet MGM Sports Lounge, which opens two hours prior to every event. For those who prefer a quick bite, the Barrel House is open on event nights and offers tailgate-style favorites. All guests are required to pass through metal detectors and bags are thoroughly searched to ensure everyone's safety. Accessibility is a key focus at Bridgestone Arena. Accessible entrances are located at the Nissan Main Entrance at 5th Avenue and Broadway, Nissan Sobro Entrance at 5th Avenue and Demon Brune, and all five entry points in the 6th Avenue parking garage. If you have specific questions or need advanced arrangements, you can reach out to Bridgestone Arena's accessibility services via email or phone. If you're looking to explore the culinary scene around Bridgestone Arena, Nashville, of course, has a lot to offer. For fans of hot fried chicken, the top spots are Prince's, Bolton's, and Hattie B's, each offering their unique take on the Nashville classic. For taco enthusiasts, Mas Tacos Por Favor and Red-Headed Stranger in East Nashville are must-visits. For burger lovers, Joyland offers a range of delicious options. If you're looking for a great deal on Broadway, don't miss the recession special at Robert's Western World, which includes a bologna sandwich, a bag of Lay's chips, a moon pie, and a PBR for just six bucks. For those with a sweet tooth, the Goo Goo Chocolate Company offers a variety of local candies. And if you're into craft beers, Nashville has a thriving brewery scene. Some fan favorites include Yazoo, Southern Grist, Tailgate, Crazy Gnome, and Jackalope. One venue llama correspondent and several fans who frequented Bridgestone Arena have some valuable insights that you'll definitely want to hear. On the pro's side, the venue is highly praised for its fantastic acoustics, especially during live music events. Accessibility is another strong point. The venue offers multiple accessible entrances and restrooms, making it convenient for everyone. Food variety is also a big plus. Whether you're in the mood for Nashville's famous hot chicken or looking for vegan options, you'll find something to satisfy your craving. However, as always, there are some cons to consider. The food and drink inside the venue can be a bit on the pricier side, so be prepared. The venue can also get quite crowded, especially during big events, so it's always a good idea to arrive early. Another point to note is that the bag policy is strict, and some fans have reported delays due to bag checks, so it's best to travel light and be there early. Lastly, while there are plenty of parking options, some fans recommend booking your parking in advance to secure a spot closer to the venue. If you're looking to keep the energy going before and after the fish shows, Nashville has you covered. For pre-parties, head over to Acme Feed and Seed at 101 Broadway for free events on October 6th and 7th. Another option is the Assembly Food Hall at 5055 Broadway, 
where the Captain Midnight Band will be playing on October 8th starting at 2 p.m. New Heights Brewing Company at 928 Representative John Lewis Way South is hosting a sample in a bar pre-party on October 7th and 8th. Teddy's Tavern at 104 Representative John Lewis Way South is also hosting a pre-party featuring Tin Roof Cats on October 8th from 3.30 to 7.30 p.m. For after parties, Teddy's Tavern is the place to be on October 6th and 7th. If you're looking for something different, the Vinyl Lounge at 1414 3rd Avenue South is hosting the Wonky Tonk after parties on October 7th and 8th. For a unique experience, hop on the Music City Brew Hop, a loop trolley that takes you to up to 14 of Nashville's best breweries. Use promo code HARPUA for an all-day pass at just $25 and enjoy fish tunes as you ride. The trolley drops off just a block from the venue. All information is in the description below. Okay, that wraps up our look at the Bridgestone Arena. If you've been here before, we'd love to hear about your experience. Feel free to leave a comment below or rate your experience on our website at venulama.com slash Bridgestone. Thanks for your support. Have a good show.